solidly built, overpowering flamethrower, Rich Goose Gossage intimidated hitters with a ferocious intensity. Gossage, one of the top relievers through the 1970s and 80s, spent a 22-year career with nine clubs, including the 1978 world champion New York Yankees and the 1984 National League champion San Diego Padres. Often pitching multiple innings to earn a save, he earned nine All-Star selections and recorded 20 or more saves during 10 seasons, leading his league three times. The second man to record 300 saves, Gossage retired among the top five all-time leaders in games pitched, relief innings, and relief strikeouts. You're an All-Star World Series champion and a Hall of Famer. You're known for intimidating opposing batters. What role did mental imagery play in your ability to, vi to visualize getting hitters out or being able to intimidate other people? Well, huge. Uh, you know, my intimidation was not a, uh, a product of premeditation. You know, it was just the way I was on the mound. And I didn't do it consciously or, or uh, you know, with the thought process behind it. It's just the way that I, I approached my job out there. And, you know, the, the biggest thing is when I was when I was younger is getting over the disaster the night before. You know, if we're thinking of the disaster that we had, we come into a potential disaster tonight and we have a disaster. We lose, end up losing the ball game. Uh, the, the following night, uh, that carries through to, with a young player, the disaster last night. If we are thinking of the disaster that happened last night, we're gonna have another disaster la tonight just like clockwork. So I, as a, as, a, as a reliever, I wasn't a closer because I didn't just pitch one inning. Um, when, I, when I had a disaster, I had to learn, I had to program my mind to absolutely forget about the disaster last night. Because if I have only a little bit of thought about the disaster last night, I'm gonna have another disaster tonight. So. I had to program my mind through as a young player. It doesn't just happen. You don't just think, you know, uh, you know, it's got to be behind you. So I learned to put the bad behind me, build on the good, learn from the bad, and let it go. People said, hey, Goose, how are you such a great relief pitcher? I said, I couldn't remember what happened last night. So we think good things. Our success in life and in baseball, because every life, every life's lesson is out there on that baseball field. We think good things and good things happen. We think bad things and bad things happen. It is that simple. So we are our own worst enemies out there between the lines, you know, our subconscious, and let him go over here and sit him in the dugout, leave him somewhere else. Visualize success. Absolutely. Think good things. You have got to think good things because we are what we think. Confidence is something that is so fragile in our lives, in baseball especially, because baseball is a game of failure. What else can you fail at seven out of 10 times and still have a job? Seven out of 10 times in baseball, you're a star hitter. Sure. And uh, so therein lies, I argue this, but I don't argue because there's no argument. It is the most difficult game in the, on the planet to play. It is a game of failure, and how we deal with that failure will, ex will, will directly correlate with how much success that we have. So confidence is a very fragile thing. You would think that after my career, 22 years in the big leagues, you would think that that confidence would be automatically there. I battled it my whole career. You have a bad, bad outing tonight, man, that little bit of doubt creeps 